welcome to Amy's Vlogs here in Germany. How are you? I hope you're all doing fine, safe, and healthy sa mga kababayan ko dyan sa Pilipinas. Kumusta na po mga buhay-buhay natin? Sana po ay nasa mabuti tayong kalagayan at kalusugan. I hope that the COVID cases there are going down so para kahit pa paano ay eh, makalabas na tayo. Ano? Anyway, here in Germany, it's been raining in a week already and the weather is gloomy most of the time. So, it's summer here in Germany and the weather is like that. The temperature is 23-24 degrees in the afternoon and then 12-13 degrees in the morning. So, that's summer here. You have to be ready for everything. You cannot put away your winter clothes or your, your jacket because it's still cold. It's summer but it feels like spring. And I told my husband that because in the Philippines when you say summer, it's sunny most of the time and it's hot. Well, mabuti na hindi siya mainit, yun nga lang, it's raining most of the time, so we cannot go out, we cannot go somewhere. Kaya, tenga sa bahay. <laughs> and when it's gloomy, the mood is also a little bit gloomy, it affects also my mood. So, yeah, my mantra here most of the time, if we don't have the sunshine, be the sunshine. Otherwise... You will just sulk in the corner and feel bad most of the time. So, life in Germany is not all beds of roses. Life in Europe is not beds of roses, you know. Uh, we have our highs and lows. It's not all these beautiful sceneries and um, beautiful places that I'm trying to show you. Well, sometimes we also have our lows. And one of them is, you know, renovating the house because... <laughs> My husband and I bought this very old house. It's a Jugendstil or an Edwardian house and it was built in 1910. So it's more than 100 years old already and we are renovating it by ourselves because the labor cost here is very expensive. I was trying to show it to you last time and it's been a long time that I showed you the updates now. What have we been doing here? So today I want to share with you the developments, what have we done so far with our home renovation. So, this is my home renovation story here in Germany. <music> Today I'm going to show you how did we fix my son's bedroom. Thankfully my sister came over from Italy and she helped me and my husband a lot. The room has already a wooden floor but then it has some damages so we decided to cover it and then put another pocket on top of it. After plastering the holes we put a mesh on the floor and then we put a nivellier mass or it's a leveling compound so that the floor will have the right level. For someone who doesn't know a lot about construction like me, it looks like a cement, but then it's what they use here so that the floor will get even. Then you have to let it dry for a week. We also plastered the wall so that it won't have a rough surface. And then when it got dry, we started putting the wallpaper. We asked our son what kind of wallpaper does he like and then from there we ordered stuffs for him because it's his bedroom so we have to listen to him, listen to his wishes and we're just there to guide him and help him. Here in Germany they usually plaster the walls first and then after that they put the wallpaper on top of it and then comes the painting. That's how they protect the walls here. After putting the wallpaper, we let it dry for a day and then after that comes the painting. We chose this color because one, my son likes it and number two, it has a calming effect. <music> A 
week after putting the leveling compound on the floor, it got dried, so it's time to put the paquette on the floor. But then, my husband said, we should put this mat first. It's called Tritschal Isolirum. It's good for noise reduction and insulation. So, after doing that, that's the time that we started putting the parquet tiles on the floor. For the rooms on the first floor, we chose this oak wood parquet. After putting the paquette on the floor, my husband put the skirting boards on the wall and then he painted them white. Yellow is always ground, so that yes. is also okay, but if everything is wired correctly by the right color code, the one that you could touch without getting hurt. This one is if everything is wired correctly the incoming electricity it's just the circle has to be closed then. from my son's bedroom we moved to the walk-in closet and the office okay. After painting the walls, my husband installed the doors, the wooden doors that we got from Bauhaus. This is a ready-made door that we ordered from Bauhaus. So first he installed the door frame and then he used fillers and the strong glue so that it sticks tight to the wall and then comes the door panel. We bought our doorknobs from the Amazon and we chose the style that goes with the house. So now the walls and the ceilings are done, the doors are installed already, so it's time to start working on the floor. It will be the same process as what we did in my son's bedroom. First we put the strand boards on the floor so that we will have an even floor. And then we will put the mat which is called the Trichal Isolirung for insulation and noise reduction. And then comes the parquet. After a week, the walk-in closet was done, the office was done. We don't have cabinets yet for our wardrobe, but it's working. And then, the office, we turned it into our bedroom because the master's bedroom is not done yet, so we're sleeping there temporarily. And then, the next one that we're going to fix is the living room and the dining room. Yay, finally, I will have my living room, so we're working on it. Please stay tuned for more home renovation vlogs like this. I'm going to um, vlog about our home renovation updates from time to time. 
And I hope that you like this, guys. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. Thanks also for subscribing and giving me comments. Maraming maraming salamat po. To those who would like to see some more of my vlogs here in Germany, please click like and subscribe. This is Amy once again. Till next time. Ciao!